Hey, what's up guys? I'm doing a cubic duck file, um, post the new wave hack, uh, goal edition. So, before I get started with this, um, I wanted to show you guys the stuff that I pulled from the, uh, move, from the movie pack, like I promised. So I pulled one alternate, which was actually pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. And then, uh, here's the other promo. It's the Crystal Dragon. So, it's basically a searcher during the battle phase, which is interesting. So, I thought that was interesting. And then, Lava is just reprints um, <coughs> from the first uh, movie pack. So, like uh, the Magician Girls. So, uh, those are. Those are pretty cool. And then Dark Magician was actually a gold secret, which I'll be showing you guys that uh, moment, momentarily. Um, so these are actually two cards I actually read, and they had maybe actually pretty interesting text for uh, Burn. So if you guys don't know what they do, um, they're actually pretty good. So I'm going to just show you guys them. Show you guys the effect on it. So it's, you guys can pause and read it. And then here's the other one. This one's a little bit more risky, um, but it's still pretty good uh, barn, so. And then I did pull one silver gadget um, out of the pack, which is actually pretty good. And then my thought was throwing in Chaos Max and Cubics. I didn't do it because it would just break up, break my hand even worse. But I did have the thought about doing that. Um, I might test it, but that would basically be all that I would do with it. So, but yeah, that was my thought process with that. And then Neo, Blue Eyes. And then here's the Dark Magician as uh, the gold secret which actually looks pretty cool um these actually remind me more of uh the no night rarity to be honest so and then more of the cubics as they got reprinted <coughs> so they're basically like 39 cents a piece which is um pretty cool so some more of the new cards and then more reprints. Uh, Gondora got no reprint as well. <laughs> Clear Kribo, um, some more stuff. Dimension Guardian, Dragon Fighting Spirit, uh, Marsh Macaron, and you know, just uh, another new card which is actually pretty cool. I'll actually show you guys him. Um, he's basically like a Cyber Dragon. So, which is pretty cool. But the only bad thing is that, um, his attack goes down. So, yeah. But, um, you're basically on mainly using for Maya Rank 5 or something like that. So, um, Counter Gate, um, Meta Morph, Morph uh, Trish, our Dark Magician. Just kind of flipping through these, just showing you guys what I got. So, like I said, a lot of these are just reprints. So, but yeah, that's basically it for that. Now, to get on with the deck profile. And sorry for um, that long <laughs> beginning part, but um, yeah. So. Um, two Duza, the Meteor Cubic uh, Vessel. You definitely need three of these, but his effect is that when he's done or special, you can send one Cubic card from your deck to the graveyard, which you want to send Karma a lot of the time. And then once per turn, during your player's turn, if a monster was sent to the graveyard this turn, while this card is faced up, you 
make it uh, gain two turn attack for each monster with a, diff with a different name in your graveyard until end of turn. So it's not bad. Um, but you basically want to use it for the foolish burial effect. So <coughs> excuse me. And then three uh, Crimson Nova. Uh, again, the new rarity. So um, his his effect is that you have to reveal three cubics with different names in order to special summon him. He's unfed by Carfax with 3,000 lower uh, attack. And then he, when he destroys a, mo a monster by Val, he can make a second attack. So, very, very quite good. And then during the end phase, uh, you can activate his effect to burn you and your opponent for 3,000 for 3, damage. So, which can sometimes be a game. So, yeah. And three, Vajam, the cubic seed. Um, he cannot be destroyed by Bow. And then at the end of the damage up, if this card bowed, um, you can choose to put it into your spell and chopper zone. And then your punch monster gets a counter, which says it cannot attack and it cannot activate, activate its effects. So, which is very, very quite good. And then during your main phase, you can activate his effect in the spell and chopper zone and then bring him back up in the monster zone. So, which is pretty cool. So, three white stone legend, and then three blue eyes white dragon. Um, here's the gold secret, which looks pretty nice. Um, I will say that. So, <coughs> looks pretty cool. And then that's basically it for the monsters. Now for dispose, three cards consonants. Uh, three trades, uh, three cubic wave. Once one, one of them is the gold rare, which looks pretty cool. Uh, cubic wave is a lot more powerful um, than what you guys think. Um, basically, you target cubic monster and then target a patient monster that, are, that your punch controls. Your punch monster's attack is halved, and then yours is doubled. So. It makes it just a lot more powerful. And then you banish this card with a cubic uh, monster. And then it does the same thing as Pajam where it adds a counter and then it has that same effect. So, which is also quite cool. And then cubic karma. Um, you guys already know what this does, but in case if you don't, um, you can activate this from your hand. Then target a cubic monster that you control, um, except uh, Vajam, and then send any number of Vajams from your hand or deck to the graveyard. Then that cubic monster gains 800 attack for each, so it's just very, very quite cool. And then if this card's in your graveyard, you can banish it and it starts out for a cubic uh, monster, so which is very, very quite cool. And three Dark Odellings. Just to help get any un, uh, useless card from your hand into the graveyard faster. So, this can be Karma or Cursed Bamboo Sword, which I will be showing you guys momentarily. Golden Bamboo Sword for that plus two. <coughs> or actually plus one, but yeah. Broken Bamboo uh, Sword and then Cursed. Uh, cursed lets you search out for Broken or Golden, so. That yeah, works either way. And then hand instruction just help get rid of less than anything that you really don't need um, into the guard. So yeah, reload to help uh, unbreak your hands. So um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that. And then one day piece um, just good in case if you can't do anything in your first turn. And you have this in your hand, then you don't take any bow damage. So, so yeah, that's basically it for the spose. Um, now for the traps, um, I'm I'm testing out two 
unifications, uh, which it's actually a pretty good card. Um, so it really helps with gain uh, Dusa onto the field quicker. So yeah, and then for Eshrek, just two. So um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Don't to like, comment, and and uh, subscribe for more. And yeah, I'll catch you on in the next video. Alright, there you guys.